Welcome to the White's Kitchen. Uh, we're glad that uh, you joined us today. Uh, we're, we're coming to you here from America. And uh, today we're going to be making uh, cream of vegetable soup. The spices we're going to be using are uh, basil, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and we're going to be using these Norse vegetable bouillon cubes, as well as uh, raw cashews and cornstarch. So, the first thing you need is six cups of vegetables. You can use any vegetables you want as long as you have six cups. Last night I cleaned and chopped my vegetables. This is celery, about a half a cup. This is carrot, about another half a cup. Then we have a cup of onions. This is about one onion. We have a red sweet bell pepper. That's also about a cup. And I have two cups of broccoli um, florets that I'm putting in here. Then we also have some cubed potatoes. And I'll hold this up. Maybe you can see all these vegetables in here. But as I said, you can use any vegetables. You don't have to use these as long as you have six cups of vegetables. Then we're going to add our Nors bouillon cube. And I'm going to kind of break it up into here. And we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of basil. And then over all of this, we're going to put one cup of water. Not very much, but you need enough to simmer your vegetables in and get them done. So now I've stirred this all up and I'm going to put it on the stove to cook. And we're going to be cooking it just for a short time, just long enough to uh, get our vegetables wow, that's getting done. We're going to make our cream sauce. I have a blender here. You'll need a blender to make this. In our blender, we're going to put one cup of cashew nuts. Then we are going to add two cups of water. One. To this, we're going to add our spices also and our um, whatnot. In here, I have both my onion powder and my garlic powder. We need um, two teaspoons of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So, in they go. Then we need our Nors vegetable cube. Another one. And we need two tablespoons of cornstarch that I'm going to add into there. Now we have all of those ingredients together for our cream sauce. The recipe calls for salt. But the Nora's vegetable cube is quite salty. So we're going to wait till the end after our soup is all done to see whether we want to add some salt to it. So now I'm going to turn it on. 
and whiz this up. It's going to take about two minutes because you want to whiz it really smooth. Our vegetables have been cooking now for about 20 minutes and our uh, sauce has had two minutes to get smooth. So I'm going to test it by taking a little bit, putting it on my finger and then I rub it to test the graininess and you want it just as smooth as you can get it. Now I'm going to add one more cup of water to this and I may need to add some more after we get it into the soup but I'm just going to take a minute to blend this up. Okay, then we're going to pour it into our soup. And we're going to stir to uh, let it thicken. It's fairly thin right now. But we'll heat it up here. soup will thicken as it heats because of the cornstarch in it. You'll find that this is a very good cream sauce and you can use it in a lot of other recipes. Today I made some creamed asparagus using this sauce and we had it over rice. It was very yummy. It's getting thicker now. When I made the creamed asparagus, I used all one and a half cups of water that it calls for. This I've only put one cup into. I thought maybe it would get warm faster, but it's taking a little bit of time. When we get it thick, we may want to even add just a little more water, because I only put one cup. Now it's starting to thicken. If you can bring the camera over here, they can see it. Or maybe I should bring the soup to you. This is what the soup looks like. And it's still a little thin, but you don't want it uh, too thick. It's just about right, I think. But we'll cook it just a little bit longer. It's boiling now, so that should be enough. And it's, I think I'll leave it just the way it is because there was some water in the soup. So now, when you get ready to eat it, you can take out a nice scoopful and stick your spoon in it. And there you have cream of vegetable soup. I hope that you will all enjoy it.